So we're talking about the volume, okay? Now when we're calculating the volume, we're talking about the volume of a box, right? And when we're talking about that, we're talking about a thing called a rectangular prism, okay? So that is what the term rectangular prism means. It means it's a box. Now, that's the amount of material which is inside a box is called the volume. And the equation for the volume is given by this. V is equal to length times width times height. Now, here is the best part of this. Remember when we did area, it didn't matter which way we calculated it. You either had length times width times height or width times length times height or whatever. It doesn't matter. So when we actually take a look at the work that we're doing today, I usually assume the following. This is our length, this is our width, and this is the height. So going into the paper is our width, going up and down is our height, and going left and right is the length. So let's go and take a look at a sample problem that I have for you. All right, so it says find the volume of a juice box. So think of it, it's like one of those McCain juice boxes that are, well, its length is 5.4, its width is 3.6, and its height is 10.3. Now, like I told you, you don't have to think too hard here, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this calculation and we're gonna find the volume. So remember, the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. We'll just punch the numbers in. Now, if you don't know what the length is, you don't know what the width is, but you have three different numbers on the outside of the box, one going left, right, one going into the box, into the paper, and then one going up and down, just multiply all three together. So this time I've got 5.4 centimeters times 3.6 centimeters times... You ready? 10.3 centimeters. Now, remember with our area, if we ever multiplied all our stuff together and we did it twice, we always had something and it was squared. But because now we have one, two, three things multiplied together, it's now centimeters cubed. So here's what we do. Now we take our centimeters. We take these numbers, we multiply it together. So we end up with 202, 200.2 centimeters for our answer. Now, here's what I want you to know. We did that practice on Friday, okay? Now we said this a while back. We have 200.2 centimeters. You'll notice that it's 0.2. It's not 200, right? This is in centimeters cubed. We don't really know what centimeters cubed is, right? But we do know that centimeters cubed is equal to milliliters, right? And you understand the concept of a milliliter. So, you know when you take a look at your 200, li your 200 milliliter juice box, it's actually this, 202.2 milliliters, okay? So make sure you take a look at last week's work. We talked about milliliters and liters but we were using spoons and tablespoons and figuring out what those values were. So here's what I want you to remember. You need to remember that 38 centimeters cubed is equal to milliliters cubed. 
okay? And 450 centimeters cubed is the same as 450 milliliters, right? And if I have something over a thousand centimeters cubed, you can change that into milliliters, but you got to remember that if it's over a thousand, we want to always change it to liters. So just remember, change it into milliliters, but if it's too big, over a thousand, move the decimal three paces to the right, and that's how we got 1.239 liters. Now that work was done last Friday. The work that you're doing right now isn't as important. It's not as important to do milliliter calculations, but we're going to go and practice some more of these problems so that you can do the package of work that I've given you. So, like I said, area was the amount of stuff that was inside of a shape. Now this time we're going to talk about volume. Now when you hear the term volume, that refers to things that are in three dimensions. And those dimensions are usually length, width, and height. So for example, the easiest three-dimensional shape that you would look for is a box. Okay. Now let's just quickly say what the what the definition of volume is. So definition: the amount of stuff of space. Let's call it space um, in a shape. Now you could also measure the amount of space in a shape by filling it with water. So sometimes people give you the volume of something in liters or milliliters and that gives you an idea of how much space is in say a backpack or a car now we are going to measure stuff in centimeters millimeters meters but instead of having just two dimensions like a length and a width this time we have three dimensions okay so let's take a look at a box so let's say I have a box a rectangular box now the box would always be driven dr dr drawn in three dimensions you've seen them like this in art class sometimes in science class when the teacher wants to show you something so Here's what you would look for. You would look for three different lengths. One that goes along the horizontal. Along the horizontal. So this one here, I'm going to say this is three meters. Okay. One that goes into the page. Two meters. And one that goes up and down. Let's make this two meters as well. So here is the definition for the volume of a box. The volume of a box is given by length times width times height. Okay. And when we do this, all we do is we just substitute the numbers in and it doesn't matter which order the numbers go in. So I'm going to go three centimeters here. And then we're going to times my three centimeters by two centimeters and then multiply again by two centimeters. You punched in three times two times two gives you 12. Now, before when we calculated the area, it would always be centimeters squared, but because we are dealing with three units for the multiplication, otherwise known as three dimensions, 
we've got centimeters cubed. Let's go and practice this again. So imagine I have a problem here. It says a box has dimensions five by three by two. What we got to do is we literally have to take a look at this and draw a picture of the situation. So I got to draw a box here. So I kind of draw my box. There's a front side of the box and then I draw three lines going into the paper and then two parallel lines on the back. So the first side is five uh, meters. The second is three meters and the height is two meters. Boom, there it is. We said that the volume of any box is length times width and then we multiply by the height. Now we just substitute directly in. So five meters times three meters times two meters. You punch that in your calculator and you get 30 meters, but remember it must be cubed because we have three dimensions that we multiply together. And that is how we calculate our volume. Now, let's say that we get a problem where I give you a picture of a shape that's cut into boxes like a Lego box. Let's go and take a look at that then. All right. Now let's say that I have a box that looks like this, right? And I need to basically figure out the volume of this, right? What I would have to do is I would have to look at the length, the width, and the height of this thing here. Now, here's what we do. For each one, for three sides that are different, so this side, the front side, the side going into the picture, and then the side going up, we have to figure out the lengths of each of the sides. So let's do that right now. So in order to do that, we'll just take a moment and count it. So for this part, we have one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four spots. So that's four units, okay? Now let's do the same again for the side, for the side going in. So this side going in. So we count one, two, three. So there's three blocks going in and then going up and down. I'm going to use black here. I count the number of spots going up and down one, two, three, four. So if I want to find the volume of this, here's what we do. We know that the volume is equal to the following. Four times the three times the four. Boom. That's it. We just multiply all three numbers to get the volume of this box. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. And so we end up with an answer of 48. And we could say this is units. Do we leave it? Do we say it's units, units squares, or units cubed? If you thought it was units cubed, you are correct. Okay. And now we'll do one of the slightly harder problems that you're going to see on your worksheet for today. All right. So for one of the packages that you have, you have to match the equation of the volume with the picture. So let's go and take a look at question number 11 here. I'm going to circle. That's what we're going to be working on. So what we first have to do is we have to take a look at our picture. We have to look at the front face of the picture. Now, the front face of the picture, the length is one 
two, three, four, five. And I just, all I did was count the number of blocks. I got five. Then I'm going to count the number of blocks going into the page. So one, two. So there is two blocks going into the page. And then we figure out the number of blocks going up. One, two. And so that is two. So remember, the volume is equal to, well, five times the two times uh, two. Multiply that out, and you're going to get V is equal to 20. So your volume is equal to 20. Now, what you need to remember is that when you multiply, when you multiply, finding volume, remember it's length times width times height. What you're gonna do is you you realize that we can put those numbers in any order. So the key would be to look at each one of these num uh, each one of these things at the bottom here and make sure that your number that your numbers that you use to make your volume are in there. So let's take a look at A. A doesn't work. B doesn't work because you see the very end? It's 32, right? Because our volume must be must be 20. If I look at this one, it's 5 times 4 times 5. Nope, that doesn't work either. Because the dimensions that we have for our original calculation don't work. We look here, here. Look at H. H. A -A H. H is 2 times 5 times 2. I punch that in my calculator and I find that it's 20. And now remember, our original equation had 5 times 2 times 2. Now, remember I told you that your multiplication can be in any order. So it could be 2 times 5 times 2, or 5 times 2 times 2, or 2 times 2 times 5. Which means that this one here, 11, so this is, you would say... The number that we fill in for this is 20, and on our sheet, in the free space to the right of it, you would say for 11, you're going to put H, equation H is what we use, because this is what it is here, and we put comma, whatever number we had to fill into our equation, and we're done. That's it. Okay, if you have any questions on how to do these problems, send me an email. Now, if you have if you still have issues with it, all I want you to do is I want you to calculate the equation of those volumes on that sheet. So you'd only do this part here. Okay, all right. Have a good day, guys.